What's up everyone, today we're playing the really sweet Glimpse of Tomorrow Cascade deck. This version, made popular by Moto player Xenowan, features Karn the Great Creator in the flex spot, but more on that later. Before we get into the deck tech, I want to remind you to hit that like and subscribe button and leave a nice comment down below. So this deck revolves around Glimpse of Tomorrow. The early turns focus on trying to put as many permanents into play as possible, primarily by evoking Wave Sifter or playing cards like Colony Garden or Season Pyromancer. Once we have at least five permanents on the battlefield, we want to cascade into Glimpse by casting Charlotte's Agent or Violent Outburst. After we cascade into Glimpse of Tomorrow, it dumps a bunch of permanents into play, which makes more permanents and more mana, and we can Glimpse again if necessary. This deck can win in a lot of different ways, such as Omnath triggers, and having a huge board of Fury and Chancellor with their tokens. The cool addition to this deck is Karin the Great Creator. His static ability shuts off any artifacts, he can plus on a Chalice of the Void to destroy it, and he lets us have a more interactive sideboard plan. When we cascade into Karn, we have the option of getting a lot of flexible answers, depending on the scenario. We have Tormod's Crypt for Grave Hate, Elixir for Burn, Mill, or just to shuffle glimpses back into our deck if we want to spin again. Like when Metal Coating can shut off lands and sometimes destroy them. We have EE for any problem permanence. We can go get our fourth Shardless Agent if we want to try to spin again. And we have a Seekus Chariot, which provides three extra permanents or a couple Trump blockers if we need. The rest of the sideboard has three Mystical Dispute and two Teferi Time Raveler for those counter wars. It also has Force of Vigor and Foundation Breaker to destroy any Chalice of the Voids or just any artifact matchups. So that's the gist of the deck. Again, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's go spin to win. All right, obviously we're not keeping this hand. <laughs> Keep this. Bottom that. Play gemstone. I'm gonna bottom a land. It seems greedy, but um, I want something to pitch to Fury, but also have my own underworld cookbook. So we are against um, the food deck. All right, well, hopefully we don't get screwed for uh, pitching that land there. We're not going to fetch to get that optimal. Bolus is Citadel. Interesting. Okay, there's Asmo. They still don't know what we're on. We could be anything. Right now, we kind of look like Rhinos, to be honest. Opponent playing around Blood Moon, getting a Swamp. We would love a land here. Ugh. <laughs> Alright, we didn't get that land. Damn, was it? I mean, obviously in hindsight, it's greedy to throw pitch back that land, but... We could have kept the land and ditched a Pyro, I guess. But... Whatever. Luckily, their hand's pretty slow. Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, my God. Apparently, it's pretty awesome. We're just obviously getting pretty damn unlucky here. Urza? If it's Urza, we're definitely gonna. Well, are they eating a food? What? Tapping something for all these. I forget what this is. You think you bring bad luck? No. It was just a greedy, greedy to pitch the land, but you'd think you'd see a land in the top three or four. And they know what we're on too, which sucks because they saw a glimpse. They didn't attack. There we go. 
Unless they're just like holding up something, but... I seasoned. Discard those two. Okay. So you're telling me there's a chance. So if they sacrifice, I think we do. I think we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna kill that because it turns off spring leaf drum. And uh, it does get rid of one Charless. I mean, one glimpse target. Because we'd be able to um, do this and then... Oh, actually, no, we can't. That's only with Outburst. So fortunately, they're not doing anything. And then we get to pop off next turn if we get to live. One mana. So now they're doing the thing. We're for three. So they discard that and they get to take an extra turn. Is this unlimited? Is this infinite turns? Man, I can't believe we missed on lands that long. But they get the draw they get the draw two cards here. And then pitch two. I think we just lose. Oh, they do have Bolas the Citadel. It's probably get back Bolas the Citadel. Sacrifice it, get it back, sacrifice. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's good enough. Damn, alright, well. We have... Four things to bring in. Um, as far as bringing things out, just too much of a value piece than a win. All right, I'll take your word for it. Keep two in. All right, well, <laughs> that's all right. Um, we'll keep this, I guess. We could like mull to a uh, a better. I mean, the same kind of sucks, but oh no, it's all right. Don't worry about the delay. We're just we're we're trying it for the first time. Then we're gonna. We'll figure it out, but yeah, this hand's a little little uh, sketch. It has gemstones. It doesn't have any um, cascade. We have a lot of colors, at least. Yeah, we will have a lot to... Uh, a lot of permanence once we actually get spinning, but we have to actually spin. <sighs> I mean, if we can get Karn down, that's just, that's like a solid card in general. Just like turn four Karn is just like pretty good. So I guess it's not a terrible keep, because we know we're, uh... Yeah, Karn and EE. So if we hit a Cascade, we're definitely going to spin next turn. Let's see what they have. They might just go for the, um, beatdown plan. If they don't cast anything here, that's what we can assume. But yeah, EE on zero kills all our stuff. They did still were. They're, they're not getting to triple blue, I guess. Okay, there's Asmo. No, we didn't hit that. So we're just going to slam Karn here. They're going to activate all their stuff. Or else they can't. Wow, Metallic Rebuke. Damn. So they only have one card in hand. Or two cards now, I guess. But so Maybe they, they pitched a Whir, so maybe they have like another Whir in hand. Hmm. It's kind of me. I'm gonna eat that. Can we get it? Oh my god. Hmm. 
Play another card. Hit me with Retallic Abuke with Springleaf Drum and two tokens. I swear. <laughs> they don't have the counter. They're trying to think if they want to ditch. Okay. Uh, we knew they had another were. Probably go get coding, to be honest. We have two creatures to block. Yeah, coding's, coding's gonna, uh, we're gonna block this, play coding, take out their watery grave, and then we're gonna evoke also. Okay, that's fine. Another land, okay. Let's eat that. Because they can't do anything anyway. Plus on a token. Alright. I feel like I'm so like focused on this. I gotta say. So they can't attack. They can't activate any of their artifacts. I'm not sure what their out is here. They have three mana. They don't even have three blue mana for were. So I'm not 100% sure. Saga's a good one, and we will take that Hydrate. <sighs> Thank you. We're definitely going to eat that Saga, though. <laughs> Look at these fair beats. We're playing the most fair game plan ever. Um, So we'll bring in, like, an Omnath, and then what do we take out? Like, a Wave Sifter and, like, a Chancellor, maybe? I don't think we need to bring in disputes. I feel like that's, like, absurd. So, like, these hands... Like, yeah, we get a bunch of tokens down, but we don't have anything to... Do we just take them and hope we get there? Keep and pray? Ugh. I mean, it doesn't have a Karn. It doesn't have... It doesn't have a, a Cascade, but it does have a lot of setup. It's, like, l legit Tron. We have all the Tron lands with no payoffs. And then we just do the worst card possible. Not kidding that. But see, this is... I feel like this deck is less about... Do you run Fury in your deck? I feel like this deck is less about... Um, oh, you do? Okay. I was going to say, I feel like this deck's less about the spin-to-win aspect. Like, there's, there's more... Ah, uh, shoot, I played the wrong land. Fuck. Damn it. Alright, I fucked up. I meant to play Mist. I should have played Breeding Pool, not Stomping Ground. So I just missed the whole turn of uh, getting tokens. Uh, hopefully that doesn't bite me in the ass. They targeted Blood Fountain. Ugh. Nah, we're not looking good here. They're curving out really well. And we are... Hitting absolutely nothing. Ah, oh, your wife does. So, yeah, you know. You know what I'm talking about then. My girlfriend's a... um Self-employed. So she does all her... Or she does... Uh, like her... She sells off like Etsy and all that art stuff. She does t-shirts, cake toppers, and cups. Oh, nice. Does she have, like, an Etsy and, and stuff like that, too? So, yeah, we're, we're looking pretty dead here. We have four land... We have... Our hand, our, our hand is absolutely 
garbage. So we need to hit, like, we haven't even cascaded once. <laughs> That's game three and we haven't cascaded one time. We just gotta hope they don't have anything. Damn it. So we need to hit like now. Blue, red, green. I think we're going to be a turn too slow. Oh, so they just have oval chase in their hand. So they'll probably make a construct here. Oh my God. They always have it. All right, I think we're done. Uh, one whole match and we haven't even got to do the thing yet. We just played a super, super fair. Damn it. One, two. No. Man. Yeah. Damn. We didn't get to do anything that game. <laughs> All right, we are on the play. Let's see if we can actually combo off this turn, this uh game. <laughs> you wish. Oh, okay. Um, let me, let me see if I can, uh, I'd have to find it, but, um, yeah, that'd be funny if I did get sponsored though. That's a good point. <laughs> I use a rental service. I'm not going to say which one. But I see people like shilling for theirs all the time, so. So maybe we can pyro into shardless. Yeah, we'll cut that from the video. <laughs> we'll see if we have enough time to uh Pyro, well, we can like pyro pitching these or pitching whatever. All right, well, kind of shuts off that plan, huh? Another Elvish Reclaimer. Get another red source here. Um, tch -tch -tch -tch. Red. Red, green. Get this. <laughs> You're retooling spin it to win it now? I mean, we haven't even gotten to spin it to win it yet. That's a good one, actually. Wow, that's huge. Kills these two.
And then we get to Pyro here. Ditch both of these. Nice, okay. So if they don't if they don't wanna Inquisition me next turn, we're good. How does Bolas the Citadel sound in a spinet deck? Uh, <laughs> it sounds like an awful top deck. <laughs> I am of the the uh, opinion that putting cards that you can't cast when you draw them is sketchy. Tarmogoyf. All right, I'm going to take your word for it. You're not doing anything, but yeah, <laughs> we're, we're all in in here. Um, I just figure outburst at their end because if they attack into something, I don't know. Here we go. Our first spin. Oh, hey, Zeno. Does this deck look familiar? <laughs> Wait, so we click Chancellor first, right? Yeah, so... This is Xeno. This is actually Xeno One's deck. He's the uh, person who won. So again, congrats, congrats again to uh, oh, and they just conceded to that. Wow, congrats to Xeno One for coming in first. So we're up against. I don't even know what we're up against. We're against, up against like Elvish Reclaimer, like Jund, like Jund Reclaimer. I feel like I've seen I've seen this list before somewhere. I I just don't know where. I think it's becoming popular. Two chancellors here. Oh, chancellors really. And I didn't hit save. Well, hopefully I hit save for the first one. Let's see. No, I didn't hit save. Okay. That's okay. They're not going to have a chalice. And then the also... Also, another thing was... When do you keep... Like, this hand... Like, I'm, I would mill this hand because this hand doesn't have any token generators. And it doesn't have a um, cascade. I'm just going to mill this hand. Alright, this hand's obviously way better. We can pitch a land, and then we can gemstone into this. So we're going to perform this, and then we're going to do that. Exile Chancellor. That's pretty sweet, right? You get to exile with gemstone and unintuitive. Yeah, it's... There's just like... I'm just like, what do I keep? It's... I don't know. I do love the fair plan of it though. Like we didn't we didn't get to Alright, so obviously they're gonna take our outburst. Unless if they have two discard, then they're gonna take okay, so they only have one discard. Um But I do love the fair plan that when you don't cascade you still get to uh do some stuff. Alright, we'll evoke that. Attack for one. And I know there's tricks with... Um, the only trick I really know is when you're evoking stuff, you can, with, with that on the trigger, you can outburst to get that extra... extra one thing. I feel like I want. Um, need some more like upbeat music or something. Could put on some heavier stuff. You guys can handle it. All right. Well, that's not good. So I feel like here we should, um, Spice Girls it is. <laughs> this is a uh, different version of Spice Girls. So I feel like at the end of their turn, I want to draw with it with like a clue token. I think it's worth it. So obviously we're going to take four here.
not good. Okay. As our Amnath. They have red. Red, white, blue, green. Look at this fair plan. And we even get the draw off of it. We drew a fucking land again. God damn it. And we just pass here. They make a token. If they're making tokens, that's really good for us because their constructs are like nothing. Like if they make another token here, that would be insane. But I think they're just going to float. Yeah. Oh man, they're making... Okay. We like to see that. They got a Shadow Spear. Hopefully they don't attack with this. Okay. You feel like we're super favored from this position? So we're gonna play and crack foothills. I feel like I don't I don't feel favored from this position. Like we we do have an omnath. So do we, do we just, uh, cast Wave Sifter in like a, in like a fair way? That's like, that's what I would do. I mean, I guess we could, we could technically cast, uh, cast, uh, Chancellor. So let's, yeah, if we can get a Cascader off this, damn. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good line. Play for that upside. We're just kind of flooding out here. If we hit one, one Cascader, we still have, we have, um, we have seven more. Or eight more, actually, right? Four Violent Uppers, four Agents, and one Ardent. Wow, okay, they were off of it. So now, again, this is a weird a weird hand. So we go turn one Colony, then we have these for a Seasoned Pyromancer, but we don't have any Cascade. So with these hands, are we looking for our stuff, or are we looking to kind of dig into it? Because we can dig with Seasoned Pyromancer and make tokens, potentially. So because we're against Luris, we can mull. All right, this hand's a little better. Oh, good point. You're so smart. Alright. Sold. That's actually huge, now that I think about it. Like, that's such like a... Like an F you to a, a mulligan. I mean, to a, a ragavan. They're on five. That's actually really funny. So play this tapped. Get him for one. But yeah, this could be like any deck. But the fact that they mulligan to five is kind of scary. It's also, oh, true. Very true. All right, this looks like Death Shadow. Thoughtseize, yep. What do they take? What three of my bad cards do you take? Probably Wave Sifter? Yeah. <sighs> Play Misty, you can go get Triome. All right, so, yeah, they're just... Yep, yep, yep. This is supposed to have a good Death Shadow matchup, isn't it? Seal of Removal. Going into the deck, nice. Seal of Removal, really? 
main deck, random. Where are all these matchups when we were on Tron? So right now we're looking for any Cascader. Not that. Uh, this is kind of how I saw this deck panning out for me. Just like, just like not drawing anything relevant. Just drawing all like the, the dumb shit that we want to cascade into. We got this though. It's a big shadow. Okay. We have nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this this looks like your normal Thursday. Now, like now, I understand your pain. All right, that's a good draw. Good enough, I guess. Right. So hopefully, this stays alive. Do we do we block? I feel like we, we can't block. We just have to hope they don't have dress down. I don't think we're winning if we block. Unless they just have like a bowl. Like we're not we're not winning if we block. Monkey. Fury. Fury's pretty good. Um, e, e on one? But then Omnath dies? Let's see. So we have, we need double red. Well, we're going to have double red with this fetch. Yeah, that's like, that's always like the upside is when it works, it works. When it doesn't, it's just like, it's just such a feels bad. So we're going to have the double red when we... All right, so we have, I don't know what they're waiting on. So we can go Karn EE -E on one and Fury. Can we do everything? You think they have Drown? Uh, if they have Drown, they can't counter Karn into Essica's Chariot. Oh, Essica's Chariot's actually pretty funny. Because if we don't... Because if we go EE -E and they have Drown, they just counter it. Because EE on one sounds pretty good, but maybe we can... Oh, man, I really wish we had uh, Cascader. And we don't want to go Chancellor, right? But Chariot lets us get chump, some chump blockers. So I kind of like that. Uh... 
Oh, it does set up a good shard, though, so that's very true. Oh, we do have Fury, yeah. I really like that. That's ugh, so good. <laughs> I hate that I didn't think of it. <laughs> I do, yeah, I do really like Eska's chariot here. It's such, it's such like a random, yeah, I, I definitely don't, I haven't drawn like any cascade, but I love that this is, this is tech because we get to crew it with Karn, we get the chump block. Um, oh man, if we, you know what, if we had, um. If we had a walking ballista. Do we attack here? If they push one. Nah, I don't think we attack. Oh, yeah. It's just like, um. It's just like, uh, Sky Sovereign. It turns into a creature. They can also get Lurus to hand, but yeah, nice round. Yeah, we we really did play around that super well, and they can't kill. Um, they can't kill anything because there's only three cards in the graveyard. But they can counter uh, Shardless, though. Hmm. So, so here we can. So I'm. I'm gonna say it. We're gonna cast Fury. Kill Ragavan, plus on Chariot, and then just go nuts. Right, these don't have haste, right? Oh, they do have haste, actually. But I don't think that's... But yeah, that was a huge draw. Is that what we're thinking? So we're gonna... So let's do... So they can't counter Fury. So... They have two cards in hand. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we Fury... Cast Fury. Kill Ragavan. Plus on Chariot. Attack with everything. That's three. That's three things they have to deal with. And they still can't drown this. Nice. Oh man, Chariot was such a good name. That's awesome. All right, so the the boogeyman of the format. GDS. They're going to bring in Spell Pierce. Probably just Spell Pierce. I would imagine maybe K command. I don't know if that's even worth it for them, but definitely spell pierce. So I feel like I want. I mean, I love all this. I mean, 
I could dig that. You like sideboarding Karnat? I can get behind that, too. But yeah, um, I th I don't think there's a wrong way. But I, I do like that as like an alternative line to like think about. Um, I like these cards. <laughs> yeah, so we got the anti-blue package here. And then... Oh, man, that's so smart. Okay. I love it. And then we take out, like, a Chancellor. And then everything else seems pretty, uh... But yes, that's a good swap. Perfect. It's like you're good with this deck or something. It's like you just won. Oh, look at this hand. Santa's beautiful. So we got turn one Trium, turn two Wave Sifter. They're probably going to take Shardless, so then we'll go turn three Wave Sifter. Opponents mulliganing to four for whatever reason. I think they're very salty, maybe. <laughs> we haven't even cascaded. Like, we've, we've done nothing. So they're definitely going to Take, take something away. No a monkey? Okay. <laughs> They're looking for their... I don't even think they... They don't even run Chalice. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's one great thing about this deck, too, is that it doesn't just completely fold the Chalice. All right, they got a land. That's good. Thought sees, sure. Take my Shardless Agent. <sighs> oh, Omnet. Okay, so they have another hand disruption spell. Oh, this doesn't tap for green. Ah, uh, come on. Fuck. That's the second time I made that mistake. I was thinking this was um the other Trium. That's my fault. Okay. That sucks. Maybe they'll play around something now. Um Flusterstorm? Flusterstorm's still a thing. But I think it was more of a thing when rhinos were like more prevalent, I think. Take two. Ah! Come on! <laughs> They're gonna play that, too. <sighs> My god, hit nothing. I swear. Inquisition. Oh my god. Yeah, Catcher Trium. That's what I was thinking. I'm so used to Catchery and Rhinos. They took Seasoned... I guess they're taking that because we, we don't even have a board. All right, well, we're definitely going to wave sifter here. Man, yeah, we should have one more out, which sucks. All right, next turn. Next turn will, yeah, next turn will, uh, Go for it. I'm pretty sure that's fine because we have one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven's a solid uh, amount. But they also have drown, so we're going to have to do this twice. This is on a model four, too, that they're. They're still in this. It's like the perfect four, which is like hand disruption, early aggression. Yeah. 
I hope they don't hit anything. Another Shardless? Oh my god. That's insane. At least they're tapping out. Unholy Heat, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, now we're gonna spin. So, uh, they could have Spell Pierce, though. That's a terrible draw. So if they have Spell Pierce... I mean, I guess we have to go for it. Two, four, six. Ugh, yeah. I mean, it's not getting any easier. Go get the mountain. Yeah, at least we'll have the blocker. And then we do have a next turn if they spell pierce us here. Yep. Yeah. Damn. Just one more mana. Hmm. Yeah, for mulling to four, opponent literally had everything they needed. All right, so we block, as long as, they probably have removal spell. They have to have a removal spell, right? No. They're probably sitting on Drown, then. Come on, tap out. Put Laris a hand, do something. Croaks, uh, okay. And they have no blue, that's fine. Discard Glimpse. If we draw a land, too, we get to evoke and shard this. Come on, land. Alright, so we can go get an island. No! Fuck! Mother f God damn it. Uh, come on. No. Fuck this fucking... That's... Uh, fuck me, dude. No! Come on. It's fucking lame. That's my fault. Sorry, guys. can't believe that. I should have... Oh my god. The double green, yeah. I tapped like a freaking asshole. Oh man. Yeah, sorry about that. That's... Now we're going to a game... An unnecessary game three. Ugh. I can't believe that, man. I never do that either. Like... Yeah, so this is a great hand if we can get our stuff down. We're just gonna play it slowly. Like, I'm making sure I have blue-green, not tapping like an idiot. And then next turn, we'll just pop off. Remember you did that five minutes from... <laughs> Alright, well, this this time it's for real. Ugh. They should have a hand disruption spell for this, yeah. Always.
Oh, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> so frustrating. Definitely need a bathroom break after this game. Yeah, he... I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> uh... Do you have the thought sees my fury? Man. Now we're just on top deck mood against a live Ragavan. They have no blue mana. Well, I guess they will after monkey. Oh, they didn't attack. All right, well, I guess we earned that, right? Yeah, I don't know if it's... They didn't see it with uh, Bauble, right? No, that was last time. Yeah, that's... <laughs> we got one back. They were, they were like, you can have one. And then you're just going to hit a Shardless right here or something. Oh, thank God. All right, just an island. And they know about Mystical Dispute. So we're just... Shardless, yeah, any any type of uh, disruption, but they have Drown Up. So we need a land, we need like a land plus, plus Shardless. <sighs> Alright. Yeah, they just have everything. Come on. Definitely going to draw with a clue. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> Play Kroxa. And then we're just dead next turn. Wait. Uh, I should have... I wanted to draw... Before that trigger went off. Okay. But it, it sucks, because they definitely have Counterspell up. so annoying we know they have something and our we just lose we just slam it oh man that sucks we we had this They just like drown it or spell pierce it here. Yeah. Jeez. Alright. So unfortunate. We'll keep this hand because we can pitch glimpse to uh Pyro. Taxes.
So hopefully we draw some lands. And hopefully they don't like ghost quarter us or some shit. Especially with like Thalia. Thalia is just going to be... Ugh. I mean, we're going off next turn. Depending on what they do, because we could always uh, Pyro first and then Arden play your Violent Outburst. But we got to see what they're doing. Ghost Quarter. Fucking main deck. Insane. Guess we're on the fair plan. Insane, insane. So one problem with leagues too, you play against these like random ass like D tier decks that just And they can just ghost quarter my fucking scalding tarn. Or just tech edge it. Well, not this turn, but. It's absurd. I probably should have drawn a card. Yeah. So now they can tech edge us and they can just ghost quarter us out. There's nothing we can cast because we don't have that double red. Can play foothills, I guess, but we're just so far behind. Especially they get to Yorion next turn. Just main deck shuts off our deck. So they're gonna play Yorion, flicker this to flicker that, and then we just lose unless we draw something. I don't know. We would have been fine if they didn't have this. Yeah, now we just there's Fury. That's a good draw. Maybe instead of cracking the nah, instead of cracking the clue, we should have held up mana. Then they're gonna flicker that. That whatever. So we can go three one. Yeah, they had a really uh, good start, and we had nothing. If we had an earlier Fury, that would have been key. But they probably have another um, Flicker Wisp. So we get our land back. Yeah. 
Yeah, we can we can pay two to crack the fetch, but we're just gonna be tapped out. We can just do it at the end of their turn. I also don't want to get um ghost quartered with this here. But that's that's good to know though. So now <sighs> four, five, six. Ah, oh, we're just dead. Ugh, I wasn't even like looking. God damn it. I mean we can bring in some stuff for their Aether Vials. Probably bring in like Foundation Breaker. I feel like this matchup we don't really have much. Like Teferi doesn't do anything with I think we just have to have like get lucky with Fury. Alright, we'll keep this hand. I'm just too uh, annoyed at that one game and then just not... Like, we haven't cascaded once. Like, we haven't successfully cascaded one time in any of these games, which is crazy to me. Vile. Yep. That's a good draw. So if I was smart, I would have played, I would have got stomping ground. So that way we have two red for this. So it's just like those little mistakes that I'm not used to. But like I should be like, it's, it's not like super unintuitive. I should just be thinking about what's in my hand to play. So that's on me. But it did, it did take a couple games with like rhinos knowing when to, what to get, like what, uh, shock lands to get when you needed them. One mana. As for Sentinel. So they kept a one lander. That's good for us. Let's see if they block. See, it sucks because we would be playing Pyromancer right now. Vile in an 80 card deck. The, the, do, do, you saw that Titan matchup, that Yorion Titan matchup where they had the nuts both times. I'm like, come on, what is this? All right, well, we're going to eat those. Let's see what we draw first. Uh... So they block with us. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> it has first strike. Oi. <laughs> it's okay. Next time we're gonna hard cast Fury. I'm just like not in it right now. Alright, well that's cool. I think they like bat like flicker with something, I don't know. I can actually hard cast. Um. Nah, I think we just hard cast Fury. If they want to vial something in, that's fine. It seems like the only way we win is when our opponents get super greedy with their mana.
But they they could like file something in and like save it. Ah, oh, that's fine. So maybe we could have see now in hindsight, I feel like I should have foundation breaker, take them off that. I'm going to cast this. I'm not even going to evoke it. We could evoke it and then play something else, but I just want the body also. They play another Flicker Wisp? Sure. Start with the clue. They just flick with their own thing, so. Now it just goes back to one. We can actually hard cast this also. They're gonna just attack with that, okay. There we go. Except we can't because of this. Man. So I think we just have to legit play the fair plan. Like, are we just like hard casting this? Two, three, four, five. Try with a clue, I guess. Because it's like an air blocker. We could actually... Let's try with Season. Maybe we can draw like a Fury or something. Five, ten... Jesus. We took like the, the high risk of uh, pitching both of our flyers. We have Karn. What can Karn get us? Give her. Karn again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If they block here and here. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, if they vial something in, that's three things. And then they block here, here, here. Two, four, six, eight. Nine, but I guess we should do it anyway because it makes them Yeah <laughs> I like it when you, you just like come out of nowhere and you're like make this smart play I'm like okay See what they have for two mana. They could have like a Arbiter or something. And then we can just shard this. They're gonna fucking evoke this. Alright, we're gonna keep this. We can Fury, Glimpse, all their stuff, and we have a turn three agent. Opponents mulliganing to five, that's really good for us. They start with a Field of Ruined into an Aether Vial. <laughs> Shocker. Okay. 
Can we assume that they don't have another land? Damn. That's fine. Giver's pretty good. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to creatures you control. Oh my god. What? You guys see this? The hell is this shit? <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we have our foundation breakers at least, right? Yeah, like, we would end up facing a deck that does this. You gotta, you gotta check the store to see if they have that. I know you will. Alright, so we have to wait one more turn, and then we can try this agent. We're also flooding pretty hard. They put Yorion into hand. They only have one card in hand. But that's what we're definitely doing. We're definitely casting Shard this Agent next turn. Uh, I forgot to... Oh. Oh, wait. No, I did it backwards. Fuck me. I, th I did it right, right the first time. Son of a bitch, dude. Can you tell I don't stack triggers ever? So annoying. I'm just I'll just do it here. At least I stacked these right, but uh. so bad. <laughs> I mean fortunately it's not this time, but Okay. God. <laughs> no, I never I never have to stack triggers like that. I know in paper I'll be like you do I do this now, I do this now. Bam bam bam. But yeah, I had it right the first time. So I should have I should have killed every I should have targeted with fury or you go chancellor fury and then uh kill their stuff. So it goes kill their stuff, fear then the fury happens that kills their stuff. Okay. We got there. We finally got to Cascade. I think this hand is fine. It's kind of funny. It sucks. We, and we haven't been on the play. That's also... In, <laughs> there's just so much I'm just going to like bitch about here. But I'm like, come on. Or... Oh, uh, well, you have... um, You you would just play Enchantress, and I'll like spin to win it with this. That'd be sweet. Green mana, Yoran. Oh, four color. We haven't played against this deck in, in a while. Hopefully we can uh, get there. You'd play walkers. Oh, did it? Okay. That makes sense then. Uh, 
Now we have two. They don't have anything with flash, right? Send the plan in to send a message. Oh, so everything just goes in one deck. I mean, yeah, I, I only have one set of everything, but... Yeah, without the five color. That's why I just have, like, Glimmer Voids and stuff in one deck. Fetches... So we'll get a Triome here. Are we just gonna end of turn this because of Counterspell? What do you guys think? Like we could, we could shard this now or end of turn or if they tap out for something maybe. Maybe they'll tap out. Yeah, I don't think they run main force. Oh, perfect timing? Okay. We want blue. Because I don't think they run sweepers, right? Okay. So we didn't get the greatest hits. Hmm. This is pretty good? Okay. So we can, like, spin again. Depending on what they do. Looks like they're... Spreading seashore. All right, well, there's our blue source, so whatever. And if we spin again, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight or nine, depending on if they block. We could also Fury Pitch Chancellor. Nah, I was gonna say we could Fury Pitch Chancellor and uh, to kill that first and then attack. Do we need to spin? I mean, that's a good point, too. So I think we attack first. Okay. Fury, pitch, fury. I mean, uh, solitude, pitch, solitude. So they're going to get rid of fury. Ephemerate. So now I think we do, because <laughs> they're going to eat both of these. And then we can Fury these two away. Or we can spin first and then Fury. They block here. All right, they got rid of a lot of our board, but I think we go for it again. Blue, this needs to get green. We'll see if, uh, I don't think they'll have a counter for that now. Uh, no. So we get double pyromancer. Uh, 
Um, okay, okay. Let me just eat these. And then they have no ephemerate target. Okay. Rebound goes nowhere. So hopefully they don't have a board wipe or anything like that. They're, they're still playing, so they must be pretty confident with something they have. They can't have Supreme Verdict. I'd be so sad. Fury. So they can just, like, 2-2 two, two right here. And then we can just swing out an outburst and then we win. Oh, okay. Hmm. I guess that's fine, too. Okay, that's fine. We're good, we're good, we're good. Green, white, blue, red. Draw a card. Colony Garden. Okay. So they have a big board to answer. So we're out of glimpses. We can use this as like a pump. Okay. All right, so four color. Obviously we're gonna bring in anti-control. They're going to bring in Flush of Storm, maybe Subtlety. Yeah, Chancellor, maybe like a Wave Sifter. I feel like because they have... So they're bringing in Fluster, Counterspell, Force. I feel like if even if it though it doesn't do much from our, our side, I feel like it's going to force a counter. So like they're not going to want to let it resolve. Obviously, they can like Fury it and stuff like that, but that's just wasting their cards. Actually, let's do this. I'll cut the art in play. Do we keep this? Just based off a of shardless? Two colony garden and a shardless? Let's go for it. They're slow enough. Could be awful. If we find a fury, we can pitch glimpse to it. I don't know if we should be trying to find like a super, super, super fast hand. Well, drawing, land, drawing lands isn't gonna do anything. We'll keep try them in hand so we can cycle it. Definitely have some hate piece right here. I don't know. Jesus. That is very true that we cannot beat the fairy. It also is not good that we're drawing all lands. So, yeah, maybe it was a bad keep then. Because we had four lands... Glimpse and Shardless. Or did we have five lands, Glimpse and Shardless? Yeah, I don't know why I kept five lands, Glimpse and Shardless. That's probably not. Luckily, they're not doing anything. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. That's insane that we've just drawn that many lands. We literally just drew three lands in our... Like, we still have our starting hand right here. We're going to cycle try them at the end of their turn. This is some bullshit, though. We'll make them think we have something. Yeah, we're gonna cycle. And they're gonna Omnath.
Are they going to tap out for it? <laughs> God. Jeez. So they, I feel like if they're doing that, they, they have to have something... All right. We have Omnath. We have a fair plan going. We also have like a Fury draw to get rid of that if we need to. All right, we knew they had their own Omnath. They can kind of go nuts if they want. So we have red, we have red, white. We need blue, green, red, white. Yeah, we'd love like a fury or something. Get our own Omnath. Got all the Shardless agents. So I feel like they have to have Solitudes and, and stuff in their hand. They most likely cast one of those and target Omnath. But yeah, our best draw is Fury. Ending. Just straight up ending. E on zero. <laughs> Not looking good. We could cast Charlotte's Agent just as like and just not ca and just not cast it. Just value. We just do like way too many lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. We've drawn ten lands. Probably have to get them in game three. Yes. Oh man, big to fairy. So our best thing would be if we evoke, we just draw fury, evoke it, it doesn't get countered, and then we can shard this. Yuri onto hand. They didn't attack. Hmm. Not bad. Probably like the second best card we could have drawn. Get another look. Dirt resolves. I guess they have no counter spells, they're just Ugh. We've just drew like all our cards out of order and just too many lands. They bounce that. And then they're gonna Yorion, recast it, and then uptick. Invoke Solitude, sure.
take it. Then let's turn it to fairy. Ice Fang will block it. Unless they have like another Teferi uptick. Damn. Yeah, I don't think we're getting out of this one. Another Pyromancer. Another Pyromancer. We have a red source that we can get with this. No. I'm trying here. I'm going to swing at uh, Ice Fang. Hey, thanks for the raid, Fluffy. Welcome, everyone. We are currently playing some Glimpse combo. Courtesy of uh, Xena1. MTG, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hey, hey, Jeff, or welcome. Um, yeah, we're in a uh, little predicament right now. How was your stream, Fluffy? Was it good? We're obviously facing down uh, the fairy, which completely shuts off our, our good stuff. You play Commander. <laughs> nice. How how was that deck? I've been seeing some good things uh, on Twitter about it. Wow, I got. I definitely got to try it. It does look super fun because you like never know what you're gonna get. So we've been waiting to draw a Fury for the last uh, like ten turns. You'd recommend it, okay? <laughs> well, I thought this I thought this deck would be a lot like faster, but this, this is so grindy. I'm just like dying here. Hey, infested zero tool. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Uh for those who haven't been to my channel, we uh we play modern like 99% of the time here. Mostly like meta decks, but uh one of my favorites is Lantern Control. So don't be turned off by that, but it's a uh, pretty fun deck. But we like rhinos and and just all this all this kind of fun stuff. So I'll just I'm just gonna be off this. Yeah, we play we play lantern a lot, but it depends on what time I start. Because if we play lantern, it's only gonna be one league. So okay, well that's awkward. Wait, hmm. That's weird. I didn't uh, sideboard correctly. <laughs> you monster, yeah. Uh, Lantern takes an entire, like, a couple hours, like, because it's just so grindy, because people don't concede when they lost. Um, yeah, Tron, Tron was my thing, but... Um, not, uh, not as of late. We just played a league of Tron before this, and we faced all terrible, terrible matchups. Like Titan and taxes and stuff. Um, oh, you want to hear about Lantern, Grace? Um, yeah, so we play Abzan Lantern with Prismatic Ending. Um, and it's it's always a fun time. That's weird that we didn't submit. Let's try that again. Yeah, I should I should definitely get a command. I don't know why I don't have a command. I have a command. Um, I'm doing this too. If you guys if you guys want to check that out, that command I set up. I'm doing a a giveaway. If anybody wants to uh, indulge, 
would be greatly appreciated if you're into that. So it looks like we're playing the fair game right now. So we have Mystical Dispute for Teferi. That's that's basically what it comes down to. We can't like tap out. So we're gonna get this. Hopefully we draw a land. Okay, well that's not what we wanted. So we can I'm trying to think. We can season Pyromancer here pitching Pyromancer and maybe Omnath. But then I don't want them to fury. I'm just going to pass because if they if they have fury solitude, they're not doing anything. So if they have fury solitude and then to fairy, we just lose. Ella Damri's call, that's fine. They're probably going to get fury or solitude with that. I feel like that's all they could get is fury or solitude. Fury, okay. Again, all we really care about is to fairy. So if they get a cast to fairy here, they didn't. We're not gonna fetch. I'm gonna draw a land, not that land. So at least we'll have outburst with dispute backup, which is fine. And then they can't evoke Fury on their turn. On my turn. Run in six to ping the plant token. That's fine. Or they're probably going to uptick because they're missing lands. Uh, the Only the one of Trium? Yeah, so it's only running uh, the raw green Trium. Prismatic ending, okay. Then they're gonna uptick take a land. I'm trying to think. So we definitely want blue, blue red, blue green. I'm trying to think if uh, we want to outburst here or not. Outburst for four doesn't seem very good. So I think we're going to chill. Steam vents. I think I'm going to Pyromancer here. I don't I feel like I don't want to spin with five. I think five is not very good. Alright. So obviously they can um bury away my board here. But so they're definitely gonna do that. But they can only hit this. I think we'll we'll spin next turn if they they tap out. That's fine. So they just hit this, and then ping the plant token. Oh yeah, this yeah. So this yeah this um version's not running. Okay, so they they upticked. So they are tapped out. So hopefully we hit, like, Evoke. Okay, well, that's not what we want. Okay. So we're just going to go for it here. We're going to cast a Fairy first. And then green, white, blue. Let's be smart about it. Green, blue. Green. 
down tick so we can draw draw nothing so now we'll do blue green and then we'll spin and we will cast glimpse and hopefully we hit some good stuff come on let's do it ah <sighs> Did not hit well. Don't think this is a good hit, right? We can spin again. So we gain a lot of life. This kills all their walkers. Actually, we do get a big spin here. I think we definitely go for it again. 100% go for it. All right, let's do it. Come on, baby. Hopefully they don't have a force, though, because we had to ferry back up last time. Oh, okay. Oh, man, look at this. That's, oh, that's sick, dude. Look at this. All right, so. Oh, wait, we have to choose to keep it to fairy. All right, we're running a little low on clock, so let's, uh. We waited five matches for this? Yes, we did. I'm glad everyone could uh, stick around for that. Discard two cards. All right. Karn, Kakoding. I guess that's it. We don't have to spin again. All right. And we have Mystical to speed up for anything crazy yes Woo! <laughs> we did it oh man look at this board that's sick that's so cool comeback city that's awesome all right so i i I agree. I, I can get behind the uh, the highs of this deck. The highs of this deck are, like, insane. So here's the deck. Again, thank you, Xenoon, for, uh, like, leading the way with this. But yeah, this is the deck. I did enjoy it when it uh, when it did its thing. But definitely with a uh, an experienced pilot, we'll do wonders with this deck. So I think we can get a couple more. Maybe we'll get another league, a couple leagues in our belt another night. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Peace.